So, okay, now we go a little bit more in detail and try to augment this type of basic performance. And a really simple way is to play the fade in, fade out performance now two times over a forward backward motion. Yeah. Um, with regards to the record motion, I will demonstrate now two variations. The first one is the so called release, uh, release mode. That means I play the baby scratch by doing the uh, forward motion as in release and then I move the record back. Yes, this is the first variation. Then the second variation is now the platters off and I play it completely by hand. Now, the idea was to incorporate the fade in, fade out performance two times over the forward backward motion. That means for the first variation is we let the record play, then we fade in and fade out. Yeah, and then the same on the backward. So over a beat. And I think this is a really nice technique. Yeah, try to master it and play it faster. I will show now a little demo um, concerning the hand picking. This is similar to the uh, one click basically because we start with the thumb and then with the forefinger. This here. But concerning the uh, acoustic result, it's more similar to uh, a slice because. Uh, we raise the volume and we lower the volume, yes? When we would play a one-click orbit, this is the next performance, then we lower the volume at first and then we raise the volume. So yeah. Okay, now the demo. <laughs> So, okay, this was a demo for the release mode. So, and now, now uh, once again, the second variation is the platters off, and our first move is. And it sounds a little bit like a stiff tears, in my opinion. Yes, so the demo shows the correct practical conversion and the correct acoustical result. So and as you heard, this playing mode um, attains a different acoustic and opposite to the previous performance. So okay, as next we will play uh, the fade out to fade in performance two times in correspondence with the forward backward motion. Um, once again, I will demonstrate the release mode and the hand mode. And like I said, to fade out and to fade in performance two times. It means for the release mode, we start with the line fader on, on the highest point and like this. Yes, it goes like this. So, and the idea of this technique refers to the one click orbit because we produce a slight fade out in the middle of the forward when you look and then the same on the backward stroke and that's the reason why we can say this is similar to the one click orbit so Two variations, like I said, uh, release mode at first in shape of a demo. So 
So, okay, and finally, we will do the same performance on the line fader, but we will move the record completely by hand till the platter's off, like this here. Enjoy. So, okay, finally I will share with you some tips for self-training of demonstrated line fader techniques. Um, the line fader are handled with fingertips and are often bounced swiftly between thumb and index, yes? So a clear finger picking is always compatible, like or as on the cross fader, that means moving down by the forefinger and moving up by the thumb. You can also try to play these techniques in the reverse mode here on the line fader, but yeah, it's up to you. So, and additionally, try to play all techniques by lowering or raising up the volume of the sound. Yes, this needs many hours of practice, but by doing so, you build up uh, sound basic skills for a varied scratch routines. So, yeah, this is it. In the next tutorial related to fading pattern, I will go more in, uh, in detail and introduce some of real crazy techniques, also in combination with tones from traditional instruments. Watch out, take care, Alex, bye bye.